All right, guys, welcome back to Warriors Orochi 3 Ultimate. Now we're doing another special Musou Battlefield. I've, for some reason, I was about to say Gauntlet Mode again because I've done so many Gauntlet Modes. But as you can clearly see, that's not the case. We have a team of three yet again. And we're going to be doing something a little more special than I think that's even more special than the Samurai Warriors versus Dynasty Warriors, which I once got to say real quick, thank you for the huge support on that one. I really appreciate all that support and those comments you guys gave. Big, big thank you to that. But um, this one, it's a, little, it's a little bit special, a little more special to me. We're going to be having Orochi versus Orochi X. Now, I kind of teased that in a little series I was going to do, but I was like, it's just me playing through the whole thing again as the Orochi as protagonist thing. And now that I'm looking, and, that, and I'm, I'm, I think it kind of little simmered down for me in the hype for doing that a little bit, but I decided to just go for something bigger than that. So I decided to do a Muso Battlefield. So here's what I got. I did it on the Clash of Conquerors. So we got... Orochi, Orochi X, and now you're probably wondering, so who are you? Who is the third team down here? Well, let me tell you. So, on this team, I forgot to mention because there's another Orochi here that we're going to be, that is, that we're gonna, that's gonna be our commander, and that is going to be Ying Long, yes. The mystic who became Orochi is going to be taking part in this battle, and he is going to be going up against Orochi and Orochi X. So you're still technically getting Orochi versus Orochi X, but we're throwing Ying Long in there as a bit of a curveball there. That's a fun one, in my opinion. So Liu Bei is going to be Ying Long. Ieyasu, I believe, is Susano. Zhongfei and Tadakatsu are Fushi and Nua. Now... I was gonna. The reason why I didn't put Tai Gong in here, I was going to actually play as him. Turns out he was only level one. I promoted him and I left him as level one, and I didn't have the uh, scrolls to do that, and I don't have the time to do all that grinding right this minute. So, because I want to record other things before it gets too late. So here it is the special Orochi versus Orochi X, plus Ying Long in the Mystics. So, I. Pretty much like I did last time, I changed up all the voice lines as many as I could, as I thought were in there necessary. And I didn't change the battle log stuff because that stuff is just gonna take. That would take. That would, I just want to shoot myself if I did that. Um, all the officers are in specific locations. So the thing with the demons, seeing as how we don't have Diamondback until Warriors Hiroshi Four, and I don't even know if we're gonna do anything similar with Muso Battlefield in that. They have all been replaced with Gyukis and Dodomekis. So, wherever like certain special demon characters are, are not, I mean, there's going to be Gyuki and Dodomeki. So, it's still going to work out well. And I made all of them, both uh, the Oda and Wei army, or Orochi and Orochi X army, all have demon soldiers, and we obviously have the mystic soldiers as well. So, let's jump in. Let, well, real quick, I got on my team Neza. Because I wanted, he's pretty much replacing Taigong at this point. Momoji and Yukimura. Now the reason I brought those two is because this is a tough little Muso battlefield. I realized, and I'm playing this on Chaos again, so we're gonna hop in and uh, try to have some fun with this. And I have to admit, I'm a little bit on the terrified side, especially with uh, playing as Neza. Oh, and these archers are going to do so... Yep, 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 yep. Oh, oh my gosh. This is definitely going to be a much harder because there's going to be archers. Last time I accidentally made them all guards. So I thought that was just going to make them like regular old humans. That was not the case. And it went very badly. So Yukimura... Ooh, Yukimura and Momoji are probably going to be my go-tos here. Should probably just like put them away. So yeah, I would like I said I would be using like Taigong and Kaguya, but I tested that out because because I like to test it out before I actually do the video, and I only did like a, like a couple minutes, seconds of it. They could not handle this mode. They could not do it. So I'm gonna hope Yukimura and Momoji can uh, carry the team here, and hopefully I get to play as Neza a little bit. Not when there's archers around though. This might take more than one attempt though. It's pretty much final boss caliber, so I was like. <laughs> 
Might as well put it on chaos, am I right? This is uh, the final mission. Except you're having both Orochis here. Actually, you might see more than just one Orochi. I'm not just talking about Ginglong. Oof. Get away, get away, get away, get away. Ugh. Yeah, these archers are... Oh, my health! These archers gotta go. And I also need to get over there. Yeah, because they're going to be struggling because the um, the enemies all have like a higher morale. So this is going to be a little bit of a challenge here. So I don't think anyone important is on the front lines, I think, aside from the gates. So so I think I have Kiyomori and Sun Wukong guarding the gates for Orochi X. Okay, so here's... Oof, oof. Yeah, let's do this. So the people... Oh, my gosh. So the people on, on Orochi's team... Oh, my God. I'm getting rinsed here. Are obviously Orochi, Daji, who are in the same garrison. Uh, Himiko, Shuten Doji... And then I think that's it. I think those are the only ones. Golly. And then there's for Orochi X, I put obviously Orochi X. The two people that are inside there with him are actually other Orochis. I was like, well, I remember the Hydra splitting up and just becoming mindless Orochis. So that's pretty much what I did there. I pretty much just said like Orochi X. And he was able to make like two like weak Orochi duplicates of himself. So that's what's hanging with him in there. And then in in um, Hulao Gate, we also have Hundun and QB. And then, like I said before, Kiyomori and Sun Wukong are chilling out outside uh, the, the front gates. And Sun Wukong's gone. Now, I don't know if that actually affects... Oh, I got to go around, don't I? I don't know if that affects only the, like, the red team or something. I'm not really sure. But, um... So I guess you won't be seeing Kiyomori in uh, Sun Wukong. I probably should have put him inside the castle, but... You know. Oh, well. They couldn't handle it. Yeah, they can just need to go around here. Yeah, so I pretty much made... Oh! <laughs> that did so much damage! Was it this bad in the other one? Oh my gosh. Yeah, like I said, it's probably going to be a lot of uh, Yuki Bar and Bomaji more than likely. I'll try to put some Neza action in here. Haha! <laughs> -ha. That's right, you're terrified now. Whew. I like how she just goes like really slow for like two seconds. Oh god. It's actually crazy to see that the muskets don't do as much damage as the arrows do. See, so, yeah, I probably would have gone with the whole mystic team, but it just wasn't gonna work. It wasn't gonna happen. They're just too weak for this. I needed some people who were promoted. Ooh. Oh, get out of here. Ooh, they're really strong. It's sad that this Muso doesn't really do as much damage. It's pretty much the Kuno Kunoichi spin cycle, just a little, like, you don't take it as much distance in. Like, it's still... It's able to kill, but it just doesn't do enough damage. See, I don't think there's anyone... Oh, I don't think... That, oh, my God. I don't think there's anyone in here of importance yet. I think literally everyone of importance, like... Out here. Oh, it's right. Oh, ow, 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 ow. But, um, I'm pretty sure I'll do another Orochi versus Orochi X kind of battlefield. I just wanted to do this one so I can actually include Ying Wong in it. And I actually really like this stage a lot.
Yep, there he is. There's Susano. And there's Ying Wong. I think he's rocking the Shuchin Doji outfit. I like I do like how it carries over. It's really cool. So I think this is Shuchin Doji over here. Yep, there he is. Yep, I changed his stuff too, because I believe it or not, that was actually I had to actually change that voice line. No. I just Yuki Moore is definitely my strongest guy here. Oh, I gotta be careful, I gotta be careful, I gotta be careful, I gotta be careful, I gotta be careful. Himiko can ruin me like with like one one attack, I believe. Ooh. Where is she? Where is she? Oh, dude, Susano's putting in that work. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? No. No. I wonder if I can just, like, kill them last. Get, get, no. 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 Please. This little girl won't. Oh, my God. She's, like, even more. There we go. <laughs> it's a little... It's a little upsetting that, like... I was kind of hoping in this stage, at least for like during the South Sao and um, Nobunaga thing, they would just meet each other on the outside, like out in the front line, <sighs> out in the front lines. But it's whatever. Man, if you don't, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Nice one. Ow. Actually, I should really stick with them because this could go very poorly for me. If they end up retreating, then I'm screwed. Ooh! Yeah, so Dachi and uh, Orochi are chilling out in here, and he's pretty much already dead. I kind of wish, and this is probably just the masochist in me, but I kind of was hoping at times that they would actually have like a regen ability in this. So like, like even like they their health just like constantly just keeps regening, like like a slow bit, not like an abnormally BS bit. What are you even doing in here, Hidemasa? What are you doing in here, man? Oh, I think it just got shot out of the air. Ah. Oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, or she's already about to die. I don't know. I just feel like it would be... And I'm doing this with Neza, of all people, because I, I don't have Neza, like, promoted or anything. I just have his mystic weapon. That's it. Go away already. I just... Re I really don't... There we go. Jeez. I was trying to get rid of Yuki so quickly, but... It wasn't... <gasps> oh. Oh. Well, that was a letdown. <laughs> I was hyping it up too, and it's like, oh, it's like, where are you going? Get back here. No, 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 no. Just get your guys dead doesn't mean you get to leave. Come here. What are you thinking? At least you still have Orochi X to look forward to. Yeah, and there was no one else special. It was pretty much just the. There's so much bad. I don't mind burning this right now. I probably should have saved it. What is happening in here? I can't even see anything. Hell yeah. Come here. Come here. See, so, yeah, I'm kind of hoping. I, I don't think. Because I heard there were a lot of different game modes, but maybe they were just renamed. Because I haven't I haven't looked at anything. I'm, so I'm kind of hoping that there's still a mode like this. Because I wouldn't mind to do more stuff like this in um, Warriors Origin 4. Oh, you bastard. Get out of here. Thank God he has a grab. There was one thing that Yukimura was was lacking, and it was uh, pretty much a grab. All right, archers, you need to calm down. Ah, oh, I missed one. All right, there was one voice line I missed. Ooh! 
Ooh. My goodness. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Shoot you all. Shoot you all down. Oh, where did you come from? Even though I do like the aerial, I kind of was hoping that the... Oh, it's QB! Oh, the biggest letdown of a villain in this game. And the Warriors Orochi franchise, in my opinion. Oh, geez, got way more credibility than you do. Oh, she didn't like that. She didn't like that. She didn't like that. Okay. <laughs> Guess I'm going to do this. She is uh, not happy with my comments. Oh, seriously, dude? Don't be, don't be dying on me. All right. As soon as, as this is over, I'm, I'm heading over. All right. Switch to Yuki. Mora. Don't know why I broke that up so much. <gasps> that was undone. Ooh. Yo, he's not taking a lot of damage. Ooh! Ooh, but I sure am. I forget what his does. I, I'm pretty sure I just did it, too, but I already forgot. Oh, it's just a flurry of, like, attacks. But it's a really cool move, so I will give him that. All right, if Hundun can stay away from me for just one second, I can probably get rid of Yuki. No problem. Whew. XP Fever. I've already gotten more kills than I did in the other one. That's a good... That's a, that's a plus. Actually, this is a decently linked video, actually. I was just looking at the time. It's pretty much I think it's around the same amount as the other one. Not just a little less. Oh boy, you're 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 tanking attacks. That's not good. Undone. Okay, never mind. You're 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 Ooh! Stop! I'm gonna die if you do that. Run away! Alright, Hundun, I'm ready for you. Urgh! Break guard, fool. In Ieyasu's words, I am Japan's greatest hero. At least that's what I remember from the first game. I don't remember if he said anything else in the other games. Probably definitely said something in Sanada, uh, Spirit of Sanada, or Sanada Maru. Oh, I don't want to go in there. Look at my health. Oh, no. So, like I said, there's... Three, there's technically three Orochis in there. There's Orochi, Orochi, and Orochi X. Oh, you're a, just a base captain. Yo, can you like drop health or something for me? I'm about to die. I can't go in there. I'm dead. I'm going to have a triple attack. I could probably risk that. I'm just going to look around real quick. If, you know, I'm a, I'm a little... Oh, I can break these? Did they even do anything? I didn't even see if they did anything. Oh, well, let's just break it just in case. Wrong attack. Okay, never mind. Oh, 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 oh. That's not good. All right, let's put one of in here. Yeah, so like I said, it's it's two mindless Orochis. And then there's Orochi X. Where's Orochi X? Oh, my God. All right, let's see if I can make this happen. Oh, it's right. She has the absorbability. Okay. Let this be it. Or I'm screwed. Please. <sighs> oh. If I didn't have that triple attack, that would have been so much worse. Freaking. I missed that one too. My foot fell asleep too. I was sitting on my foot. It was comfortable at the time, but now my foot's asleep. Ugh. Oh, my foot fell asleep. Okay. Well, I w at times I was kind of hoping that that was going to be like, oh, they're going to just go after each other. Because I don't remember this stage 100%. At times I was just hoping, like, maybe they'll just go after each other. Like, they'll just leave their main camps and then just go straight to the middle. That's clearly not what happened. And we didn't even get to see Kiramori and... Um 
What's his face? Soon Wukong. That's... It's whatever. Lesson learned for maybe next time. But... That will be it. At least for this one. Ooh, I got a multi off of this one. Not that it really matters, because I got like... Almost every single one with multi. Uh, I wish I could like take the abilities and like store them or something. It's like I always used to say, I am low on freaking like typhoon and stuff, but I have people with their weapons that have typhoon. But uh, yeah. So that'll be it for this one. Uh, it was it wasn't a bad one. It was definitely I feel a little more difficult than the other one just because I couldn't really take a hit well. But I guess it's just me. I don't know. Maybe I just ended up sucking this one and just did okay in the other one. Not counting the kill count. But, uh, yeah. So, guys, wanted to just say one more time, thank you guys so much for all that support that you gave on the previous video of Musou Battlefield. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, do set a like because that will actually help me and it will show that you guys want to see more of this stuff. Or a comment. Like or comment is always, always helpful to let me know, like, okay, I should keep doing this stuff. Do that, and one last thing, two, two away, two away. It's a pretty decent sized milestone for someone who's just starting off. So we are two subs away from hitting 200 subs. So if you guys feel like it, hit the subscribe button. And then I'll try to make a, because I know that it's kind of a thing that people like make a community name for like the people who end up subbing. So I'll think of one, or maybe I'll leave it up to you guys on that. So. I'll think, I'll think of a clever name. Maybe I'll use one of the army names that I have for one of my characters. So that'll be it for that. Thank you guys for watching this one. I'll see you later.